Hey, this is Hello Glass with another Glass Artist interview. What is your name and are you a glass blower? I'm Mike Sorensen and yes, I am a glass blower. How long have you been blowing glass and do you consider yourself a master? Uh, 13 years and I, some people do, but I don't know if I do. <laughs> your favorite style or type of glass to work with? Venetian, I would guess. What state do you call home for your glass shop? Oregon. Do you work uh, under a glass brand or an art name? Uh, just my name, Sorson. Uh, do you I, make uh, your... I distribute to MW Studios, but yeah. There you go, Maddie. Um, do you make your living solely off glass one? Yes. If you could blow glass with anyone living, who would that be? I don't remember the guy's name. He's the Italian guy that makes the Dionysus and uh, save the Seder sculptings on the goblets. I can't remember his name. Uh, it's okay. We understand. He's Italian. Yeah. Uh, what style or technique of glass is hardest for you? Probably feet. Like doing feet for goblets, vessels. I have trouble with feet. Name two people that taught or influenced your glass skills. Uh, Miles Noel and Crow Sakura. Is there any style or technique of glass that you would or will learn in the future? I hope to start getting into some cold working, a lot more cold shop working. Uh, I've never tried to lay it. Uh, I definitely want to do, oh, the, the, the new honey pot or Moro, the new the soft glass style. Crucible. Moro. Yeah, the crucible. So I want to play with some of those. Uh -huh. Name two glass artists that impress you. All of them. <laughs> Great answer. All of them. What style or technique of glass amazed you when you first saw it? Uh, it was pretty early on. I just I was saw uh, so I was at a dead show. I saw a Snodgrass piece, and that was that was it. I saw a Snodgrass piece early on, and yeah. Perfect. Worst injury you ever got making glass art? <sighs> I took the tin and clean out of my thumb. You got that scar right there. Ouch. There's my normal thumb range. There's the range now. Ooh. It doesn't go back any further. Ouchie. This is like a six hour surgery. Oh, man. What do you wish to accomplish in the glass industry? Just to enjoy my life. To do what I love and be happy in my garage and, and make creative things for people to love. How does a glass fan get to see your work? Uh, Glassartist.org. Um, I've got a profile page there. I What's some, how do you spell it? Glass artists, just full glass artists, all one word. Dot org. And then what's your page? Oh, my page, Michael Sorensen. It's just a portfolio page on there. Perfect. Page. And other than that, Facebook, I guess. I got some pictures up there. And your Facebook pages? Michael Sorensen. It's all under my name. <laughs> <laughs> You've so got three name. minutes to tell the world whatever you want. Go for it. Oh wow, that's kind of heavy. Uh. Okay, as far as this industry goes, and we'll keep it as far as glass goes, it's getting big. It's getting real big really fast, and I have this hope that we can all remember where we came from, and uh, we don't know where we're going, I'm sure. <laughs> but keep some humility, keep some humbleness, and I'm, I, I'm kind of a, I don't know, I, I'm a sentimental guy, and I go on all day long about this kind of stuff, but. I don't know. We just need to remember where we came from. And, you know, as we get bigger and get crazier, remember where we come from and stay humble. You know? This was, I'll keep going. Sorry. Okay. This was Hello Glass with another real glass artist interview. Thank you so Thanks, much John. for your time. <laughs>